In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, an introduction and a demo for the new UI testing course that I'm making for YouTube and my website. So this is gonna be a free course. Anybody can watch it. Uh, you can either watch it on YouTube, just go to my YouTube channel and search for uh, Espresso for Beginners or UI testing and you'll find it there. Or go to my website, codingwithmitch.com. I'll just show you how to get there. So codingwithmitch.com, you can go to courses up here and you can search for it if it's not at the top of the list, but it probably is gonna be the top of the list if you're just watching this video as I'm publishing it. And that's the course right there. Um, I, it's still in progress, so I haven't finished it yet. So we're still coming up with lectures every week. But um, yeah, that's the one right there. You just click register. You'll need to create an account, which is completely free. It takes you know 20 seconds to register, and then you can you can watch the course. So what are we going to be learning in this course? So this is meant to be a complete introduction. So if you know absolutely nothing about UI testing, you've never ever written a test in your entire life, this is the one you want to watch. And there's going to be a second course that comes out after this one that's going to be more advanced. We're going to test things like, um, you know, uh, the repository pattern, how to test your MVI architecture, uh, basically just like a more advanced version of this. this is, that's going to come out after this course. But this one is just kind of the bare bones beginner stuff that you need to know to get started writing your first test. So we're going to be using Espresso, Mockito to mock certain dependencies, and then some of the new test classes in Android X test. So a lot of the, the testing stuff has changed recently with Android X. They're trying to make it a a lot more streamlined, a lot easier, uh, kind of putting everything in the same place, uh, trying to, I guess, just make things uh, improve the life of developers, I guess, is overall what they're trying to do. So what are the things that we're going to learn? Uh, it's going to be a Kotlin course. Uh, and the first the first kind of part, which some of you probably have already watched since I've published a few lectures, is uh, testing activities. So how do you, you know, launch a fake activity? How do you test making sure that certain things are in view? Um, that, that kind of stuff, just kind of the basic activity testing stuff. Next, we're going to work on activity navigation. So testing, uh, you know, starting an activity, making sure that it is in view, and then maybe moving to another activity and uh, testing to make sure that, that thing's in view. I, you know, I'm probably not going to count these on my finger because I'm going to run out of fingers pretty quickly here. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of topics here. Uh, next is test suites, which I'm probably going to film that today, actually. So that's packaging up tests so that you can run multiple test classes at once, kind of all together. Uh, next, we're going to do a short kind of uh, short kind of uh, lesson on Firebase Test Lab. So I'm going to show you how to uh, run your UI tests using Firebase Test Lab. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, Firebase Test Lab provides, I think, like you know, hundreds, if not a thousand, different devices that you can run your UI tests on. So that obviously saves you, uh, you know, if you're a developer and you're a startup or you're a solo developer, or you're freelancing. You obviously don't have access to all of those devices, so you can use Firebase Test Lab to uh, to run your tests on all, all kinds of different devices. Next, we are going to be working on testing fragments. So we we tested activities, kind of the basic view stuff. Then we're going to work on testing fragments, how to you know launch a fragment, um, test to make sure the right things are in view, uh, doing fragment transactions. So we're not going to be using navigation components in this course. I'm going to show you that in the advanced course. But in this one, we're we're going to test you know basic fragment transactions. You know you're in one fragment you. Go to another fragment you make sure that the view looks the way it's supposed to and also we're going to be um, playing around with the new fragment factory so recently they've they've uh, they've added this new uh, fragment factory class that uh, will allow you to do constructor injection with fragments so before you always had to provide an empty constructor when you were initializing your fragments you weren't allowed to pass things as input to your fragments you had to you know attach arguments to the bundle or whatever um, but now we have this fragment factory class and we can use that to uh, provide dependencies to your fragments which is great for testing because then we know uh, exactly what the dependencies are for those fragments because you're you're passing them through the constructor so pretty cool stuff there uh, fragment navigation, I said, yep, doing those fragment transactions. We're going to be doing some some basic Mockito stuff in the more advanced course. I mean, we're going to be taking a, a closer look at Mockito, mocking the rep repositories, mocking out, uh, you know, view models, that kind of stuff. In this course, in this beginner course, we're going to be just kind of doing some very uh, basic mocking, some very, very simple stuff, but it'll still give you uh, an introduction to Mockito, which is, which is the point. Uh, next is intents. So as you guys know, you're Android developers, you know that Android has this intent system for, you know, starting uh, certain things, uh, 
what's the correct wording here? Starting uh, certain tasks that you want to get done, I guess, you know, like a camera intent. So you want to take a picture, you create an intent for that, you launch the camera, you get a result, and then you, you would display that picture in your UI. Same with uh, choosing an image from the gallery. So if you want to select an image from the user's phone, you want to retrieve that result and then display it in an activity. This is all done with intents. So there's certain ways to test intents on Android. So we're going to be working with that. Specifically, we are going to be testing, um, taking a picture with the camera, getting that result, displaying it, making sure that it's in view, uh, and also um, using the gallery. So opening, using intent to open the gallery, getting an image, displaying it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, next is dialogues. So we are going to be testing material dialogues, making sure that those dialogues are visible, uh, and also capturing some input from the user. So they'll uh, a dialogue will pop up, they'll write some input into it, and then we'll make sure that, that input was correct. It was what it was expected to be. Next, we have toasts. So pretty straightforward, obviously. Is the toast visible? Is it not visible? Um, you can check the text in it also. So basic, just kind of uh, toast testing. Next, we have recycler views. So now this is where we're going to get into the more um, more app-ish kind of stuff, I guess. That was a bad way to describe it. But the rest of the course is just kind of me writing tests for uh, kind of like a dummy app. But when we get to the recycler view stuff, we're actually going to have some, some real information here, like a real real more real looking app so that's what i have on the screen here we have a, a movie a movie app i guess so you have a recycler view got some movies in here the top ones you know avengers infinity war you got the actors next is the rundown this is one of my favorite old movies from the rock um, and a couple more movies down here. So we click on these, we get to, we get taken to a detail fragment. So this is kind of like the classic, the most classic app you could have, right? There's always like a recycler view. There's always a detail fragment if you click on it. And then there's some other options here. So if I click on directors, I get a list of the directors. If I click on the actors, I get a list of the actors. So kind of a very, really basic app, but it showcases um, some really typical things that you always do in an app. So anyway, obviously, because we have a recycler view, we're going to be testing recycler view stuff, making sure that a certain list item is what it should be, clicking on a list item, making sure that that takes you to your detail fragment, that that information is correct, that's being displayed, uh, clicking on, you know, directors, making sure that that information is correct, just going through the motions of testing this, making sure if list item A is clicked, you go to detail fragment, the information there is correct. If you click on the directors, you go there, that's correct. You know, just displaying the correct information. So going through everything involved there. All right, so coming down towards the end of the list, we have espresso idling resource. So this idling resource thing is something that you need whenever you're doing background work because background work takes time. So you need to tell espresso that, hey, this thing that I'm doing might take a few seconds, so make sure that you wait until a result is retrieved. So that's that's kind of what this espresso idling resource thing is all about. So we're going to kind of play around with that and take a look at that. Uh, we're going to do some configuration changes, so triggering a configuration change, making sure that the UI looks correct even after that configuration change, uh, creating some test rules. So if those of you who have already watched the first kind of videos of the course, you saw us uh, create, a, or well, we used a custom t a, a test rule for launching the activity. So I'm going to show you how to create custom test rules. So that's, that's going to achieve things like um, if you want a certain setup procedure before all of your tests run, you would create a test rule, uh, just kind of ones that you would use over and over and over again. Then the last thing here is small test, medium test, and large test. What do those mean? If you look at the Google samples, you see these all over the place. What do those mean? All right, so that is going to be it. That is everything that we're going to cover in the beginner course. Hopefully, I shed some light on what we're going to be looking at. Hopefully, some of these topics are things that you're interested in. But I think in general, like if you're looking to get into UI testing, you're looking to start writing some UI tests, these are all the things that you pretty much absolutely need to know. These are the most classic kind of examples of things that you run into all the time. Obviously, if you're building an app, you're going to use activities, you're going to use fragments, you're going to have to mock some dependencies, you're going to use intents, dialogues, toasts, recycler views, obviously, all these things you need to know. And whatever I don't show you in this course, uh, it will be covered in the advanced course more than likely because that's, um, yeah, it's more advanced. <laughs> that's going to have things like architecture, um, like the repository pattern, testing live data, testing, uh, mocking out network things, mocking out room persistence library, that kind of stuff. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it and I will see you in the course.